G'day folks, Gavin from Aussie Bushpens. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how I made this enclosed kit fountain pen. Uh, I've used a Queensland Myrtle Blank and I've managed to turn this with pretty much no special uh, tools that most pen turners will have. Um, I have got a small chuck but it is doable without that. So yeah, it's completely doable with pretty much most standard tools. I hope you enjoy. So what I have here is my Queensland Myrtle blank, my Atrax tubes, and simply you're gonna put them on there. I've got plenty of room. So, you know, you're gonna want about a 10 mil over the end. So I'm going to mark my blank here and that's where I'm going to cut it. So once you've got your centers um, you drill them out but obviously you don't want to drill the whole way through so I've got my two drill bits uh, taped off so it's the length of the tube plus a few mil one to allow it to seat so I can square up the end and two to allow the excess glue down the bottom. So use whatever glue up process works for you. Uh, personally I'm a fan of the Gorilla Glue Clear. Righto, so all glued in. Um, I'll see you in a bit over 24 hours. Now that you've got your ends glued up, you need to true them up. What I've got for that is a mill head with a shaft that I've ground down, I don't know, 10 mil or so. Now you can buy these shafts individually from a couple of suppliers here in Australia. Uh, they're easy to find. So I'm not wasting one per se. Uh, I've bought this individual one just to do this. Well done. To now turn the, uh, the pen, standard adjustable pen mandrel, and I've adjusted it down. Now, I've turned these two little um, dowels, chucks if you like. They're firm in each tube, but not tight, so that way I can get them out. But in the end, it doesn't matter. You can drill them out because they're pretty quick and easy to make. So, dowel in there. I'm still using a bushing. So the bushing goes in, and then it sits up like that. Now there's one other little component you need and I just have a little waste block that goes on the end. So let's get it in the lathe and show you what to do. Grab your waste block and all this is doing is holding it on the end uh, on the mandrel so it doesn't need to be super tight. Tail stock adjusted so safety glasses on and turn down as you normally would. come in handy because we want to get it down to the same size and we're pretty much just about there now what you can do so you get the right shape because we know that the holes only just as long as the tube length, maybe a fraction more. If you want, you can get your tube to then measure your length. But I'm trying to make a more or less matching set, so I'm going to get my first one I made. And that's going to be my end.
Now you can see why I turned down the uh, waste block as well. turn it off I don't turn that knob off because as you saw the wobble um, and I'll show you what I do with the cap in a little bit so just comes off and then to to get that little plug out that's all I do yep I'm just going to do the same with the body Now, if you remember, there was lots left over in lengthwise, but I'm still going to just put my little lace ball. Righto, to um, get those little nubs off, I just get my Sloyd knife and just cut them off. This is a nice hard Queensland myrtle, so it's going to take a little bit more. On the just like that. And then to finish the ends, I cheat. I use a little sander. Right, to finish off, you basically need to create a little jam chuck, basically. So, I've just got a little waste piece of waste piece of pine here. Nothing spectacular, and I just turn a new one down every time. things I do is where its final resting place is 
I'll actually take a little bit more off and you'll see why in a second. So you can see it's narrower there, that's on purpose. And what I do is I get a little bit of tape. reason for the tape is I'm going to do a CA finish and I don't want my finished pen sticking to my jam shot. So that little bit of tape there is what I use to then cut to be able to pull it off. bit of metho to give it a clean down. Try and get that dust. As that dries I set everything else up. Now if this isn't spinning exactly true it doesn't matter that much because I'm only doing my CA finish. Obviously you want it to be as close as possible. So, I do six coats of thin and then nine coats of medium. But I'll fast forward through this, guys. It's how you do your finishes up to you. So while I've got it on the jam chuck, I uh, finish the, the cup or each part as I go. And as you can see, it's all ridgy and bumpy. Uh, I'm not too stressed about that because part of my process is I now start with a piece of 600, then I'll go 1200 and then all the way through the microwave.
we have one finished pen. As I said, there's now it's now glued to that tape. And then I'll just get the rest of that out in a minute. Stand by. Righto. Now to do the body. Obviously it's not going to go on the cup. So I just turn this down. So, putting it together, uh, I've turned these HDPE bits for my lathe with the Morse taper, and that's how I put my pins together. So I use, well, not only, they are soft, but I also use a little bit of this because the last thing we want to do is now make all that hard work. For this pin, I've decided on gold because it was just the first one I picked up. Now, here's the next tricky part. Making sure I line the grains up as much as possible. I'm happy with it there. So. Got my hand back in.
there we have it folks one complete enclosed kit pen